Well, hello to you all and welcome back to my another video. In this video, I'm going to talk a little softer and because in Russia it's night and the walls are so, so thin. So, if I talk a little, you know, slow and softer, don't mind. I want to talk about something in this video that I did not discuss before on like in, in details. I would like to discuss, you know, how I make love in this female rubber mask. If you're wondering what is this, this is the reflection of my camera, so and it's the so yes, uh, let me continue telling you a story how I make love in a rubber female mask. When I bought this mask, I was so, so worried that maybe, you know, it would be so hard for me to, like, make love and uh, to have contact with a man in this rubber mask. It was so, so tight and I couldn't, like, put it on me and I used this. That is the powder who helps me, you know, put the mask on. If you don't know what it is, I have the video about it. How I'm putting the mask on and how I am putting the mask, taking the mask off. So, like I said, when I first bought this mask, I was continuing, I was thinking all the time, how was it, you know, how it's possible to make love to somebody, you know, and uh, it would be hard or it would be easy how it will be. And when I first did it, I was so, so ashamed for only one reason. When the guy tried, you know, to just touch me on my back, it was so, so wet from my, you know, it was so wet that, uh, for the, from the heatness that this mask caused. And that heatness is continuing on and on and on. I never find a solution for this to go away. I never find a solution for, you know, like, stop, you know, like, sweating. So, it was constant. And every single time that I make love to somebody, it was like a pressure. I, I did not enjoy in it because the mask did not allow me to enjoy. And that was the only reason why it uh, it's because I was sweating so much because the mask is tight and uh, if you have any activities it will like be you are in hell and uh, yeah I will constantly do this have you know a fresh air or something like that so it was humiliating for me to you know make first impression in the mask and that was my first time ever with somebody and I want to make a good impression and I did not leave the good impression person then you know because I didn't know what to do it was my first mask experience ever so I didn't know you know some tricks that I know now and you know you always have to upgrade and update yourself for everything in life and I think that is what I needed to do back then, I needed to upgrade and update myself for this part of my life, you know, and I was learning back then, I'm still learning how, you know, to deal with certain things about the mask, and yeah, that will be it, that's my first experience, you know. I don't like, you know, to remember it because it was so, so shocked, and um, I never like to go into details about it because uh, it was so humiliating, you know, how my mask was going up and down, up and down, because the mask was, was wet and um, it can flow, you know, when the mask is wet, you can, you know, like, it moves easily, so when we make love, you know, and it almost, like, you know, my wig fell apart, my, you know, my breasts come up to my mouth and uh, my head is in the middle, 
of somewhere in between. Somebody could maybe call that a passionate love, you know, where all things are flying around, but I think something was different about that, and it was not passionate, it was, you know, me don't know how to connect with the mask back then, but I learned how to do that, and for all of you who are beginning all of this and who are trying mask thing, and if you're trying to make love, you need to be extra, extra careful, because you never know where your head will end up, might end up in this area. And I was choking and choking and choking. It was a disaster that I don't like even to remember. It was for a Halloween story, so, you know. I hope this little insight helps you and that you're going to subscribe to my channel and like my content. Until my next video, I love you all. Bye.